Well, good snowy morning to you. <laughs> Look at all the snow coming down. It's not sticking, but it's definitely coming down. Ugh. It might be time to head south. <sighs> yes, you can see my breath. Cold. I've got the furnace running. Yes, it is snowing, but it's not sticking, which is a good thing, because I don't really want to be driving in snow. I can drive in snow, no problem, but I'd prefer not to. Um, I have been contemplating about heading south, but I think I'm going to stick it out a little longer and see how it turns out. We have a new campsite that we're going to get going to. I have to get ready, and we're going to get on the road and go there. Onward bound. Mumu dressed up and patiently waiting. All right, so we are at our new campsite and it is a beautiful spot. There's a lake behind me, but I want to take a look around and see what there is here. So let's go. We came to the last campsite. It's kind of a cul-de-sac, a turnaround, and we're camping right there by the lake. Beautiful trees. It's a little spot here with picnic table. It'd be nice for a picnic. This is the road that we came onto. Up on the hill is a pit toilet. And I'm not sure where this leads to, so let's go this way. Did you find something interesting? Here's a camping spot right here, although it's very unlevel. It's a nice spot though, right by the lake. Wow, look at these big, they look like cherries or some kind of berry, but they're huge. They look good. Not sure what kind of fruit that is. There's some on the ground. Yeah, it's pretty big. It's bigger than a grape. A little bigger, not much. It does have a seed in it, a big one. We found another camp spot. This one has a picnic table. It's um, not as unlevel as the other one was. Oh, I heard a fish jump. <laughs> Definitely an awesome view. And Mumu has found another camp spot. This is a lot bigger like ours. It's a turnabout. A couple rigs could fit in there. There are two sides to this campground. We're on the west side here. And across the lake is the east side. I'm not sure how many camping spots are over there. There is a boat launch over there though. Look Mumu. I got a bunch of marshmallows in the field. I guess they just leave them there to dry. And Mumu the Huntress has found another spot. I don't think this is um, a campsite though. There is a plaque here. sniffing around so it's just a plaque about the Crown Butte Dam 1964 this is just a lookout point on top of a hill 
to the right there. You can see our campgrounds. All three of us are right there. There we are, way in the distance. So far away. Not really, we haven't been that far. Way on top of that hill over there in the distance, there seems to be some kind of mining equipment. Also, there are some wind turbines just past those hills. And Mumu has found another one. This is actually the first camp spot that we came to. And we decided against it because it was pretty muddy down there. Like I said, it's filled with water and it's pretty muddy in certain spots. Oh, look. Moo, there are cows on the hill. <laughs> I used to moo at cows all the time before I got Mumu when I was on the road driving or anytime I saw a cow. But... It just feels weird. I did it a couple times after I got Moo Moo and she just looked at me. She gave me that weird look. <laughs> so, yeah, since I have a dog named Moo Moo, I don't do it as much. Right, Moo Moo? You're like, you weirdo. I believe that's it on the west side as far as how many camp spots there is. Four or five, I believe. I didn't know. I didn't take that other road, so I don't know if there's another one on that road, but I counted four. And on the east side over there, I don't know how many camping spots there are. I don't see any from here, except one right by the river. It's getting cold and dark. Time to head back. We have lost... Wait, we did... Wait. We changed time zones, so we've lost an hour. It was like 3 o'clock, but now it's 4. Go. <laughs> I've made it to the place that I thought was a picnic area, but as I look around, it does look like you can actually camp here, and there's like two spots here. They do have a trash receptacle. There's a fire pit here, and also one over there. There looked like a grassy opening that had been mowed right by the pit toilet, so I would say you could probably camp there too, so that's probably about seven or eight camp spots. Finally, the month of October has arrived, and with October brings Halloween. I'm so excited about Halloween. I won't really be celebrating it other than decorations and talking about decorations. I bought a few things, not much, but um, I like stickers because they're light. Creepy stickers. Blah. <laughs> also, <laughs> yes. I got a little door knocker. <laughs> That's too cute. Okay, I get it. I also got this to put in the window. Isn't that neat? That'll be really creepy. <laughs> I also got a black skull candle. <laughs> I love candles. Yes, I'm careful when I burn candles. I never burn them when I'm not around. I'm always right there watching them. Everything that I purchase is pretty much lightweight. Since I'm traveling in an RV, I don't want to get a lot of heavy items. So, the next thing I got was this little plastic bobby head. It's solar. And that's so cute. <laughs> Ooh, it's the Day of the Dead. I got some gel stickers as well. One says beware and the other one are bloody handprints. <laughs> Those will be really cute. 
And one more gel sticker. This is a skeleton. I'm not going to be using the green bow tie. I think it's kind of chintzy. Um, I'm just going to do the skeleton. And last but not least, Panda needed some googly eyes. Googly, googly, googly eyes. <laughs> so I'm going to stick that on the front of Panda somewhere. Well, that's it for my purchases for now. If I see anything else later, I definitely will get them. It's still early in the month. Um, now time to decorate. Can't really see that one too well. You can see though it's bloody hands and it says beware. <laughs> Got my pumpkin face in the window. It's the solar day of the dead skull man. Kind of looks like he has panda feet. <laughs> Do have the skeleton right here on the bathroom window. I didn't want too many decorations, so just here and there I added a touch, and here we go. <laughs> Terry made dinner looks yummy. There's Brussels sprout salad, cod, which is fish, and then a baked squash with apples inside. Mmm, yummy. Thank you, Terry. I know, look at my tires. They're so dirty. We went through that mud pile at the first camp spot. <laughs> I'm going to clean them up now. Well, you know, tires do get dirty. It's going to be okay. I'll just spray them off when I get to some car wash or something. I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me today, and hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Love y'all out there. Bye for now. Yeah.